Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. And as you guys can see, we have a bunch of new reward cards here. And some of you guys might be confused as to what all of this is about and what these are for, but it is for the new historic spotlight sim challenges that we're going to be getting um, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Um, Eastern time. Sorry, I almost said Pacific. It's 11 a.m. Eastern time. And honestly, they look pretty good. Obviously, they're separated into two conferences, just like the normal Spotlight Sims were. And you guys can see we have three Galaxy Opals. This Hakeem Olajuwon is the reward for getting all of them. Chris Mullen is the reward for the West, obviously because of the Warriors. And Gilbert Arenas is the reward for the East, obviously because of the Wizards. Um, we have a bunch of really, really, really good cards. But I'm here to tell you guys about the top five ones that even if you don't want to grind out all of the challenges, you still should at least give a little look to so starting off at number five is this tom gugliata who i think is going to be really 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 good because he's a six foot ten small forward power forward that really like low key can just do it all um he has a great 86 three point shot and 92 midi he has a 90 speed 89 acceleration and where is it 87 speed ball and 86 ball handle so he can speed boost off rip and 90 offensive and defensive rebounding a 98 standing and a driving a dunk 90 driving layup not bad some decent post game as well and he has an 84 interior 88 perimeter an 88 lateral quickness a 90 steal an 84 ply and a 78 shot contest which is all really good especially for a 610 guy with base 11 has 27 great hall of fame badges acrobat consistent finisher contact finisher fast break finisher lob city finisher pro touch putback boss rentless finisher showtime slithery finisher uh catch and shoot flex release green machine hot hunter pick and popper slippery off ball downhill post pick ignition quick first step tight handles chase on artist clamps interceptor pick pocket pogo stick toss defender and trapper has some great 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 gold badges as well i mean i loved his amethyst and i think his you know pink diamond is obviously going to be so 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 much better i just think he's gonna be such a fun card and somebody that i think a lot of people might sleep on a little bit maybe because he doesn't have that range extender but i still think as a power forward that can do everything that this tom googs can i think it's somebody to at least give a look see to you know what i mean at least check out um next on our list i gotta find him here we go is this walter davis now this walter davis has an amethyst that you guys get from doing the uh collector level challenges and he was a beast he has the t mac base oh which is just as you guys know the best in the game has an 89 3 97 shot mid and 95 free throw a 94 speed 92 speed ball 94 accelerations an 86 ball handle with great playmaking a 97 driving layup 95 a driving dunk has a nice 84 post fadeaway as well which is pretty nice a 93 pinder defense a 93 lateral quickness a 90 steal and an 85 shot contest which is going to be amazing has 28 hall of fame badges Acrobat, consistent finisher, contact finisher, fancy footwork, giant slayer, pro touch, rentless finisher, slithery finisher, catch and shoot, difficult shots, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, quick draw, has that gold range too. Ankle breaker, downhill, handles for days, quick fair step, space grader, tight handles, unpluckable, clamps, intimidator, off ball pest, pick dodger, pogo stick, tire defender, and trapper, has dimer, needle thur as well. Sadly, oh wait, no, he does have handles for days on Hall of Fame, which is amazing. Uh, again, he's got some great, and I mean great dribbling animations. He has, obviously has that money jump shot. He's really going to be basically Brandon Roy that you can get for free, but quicker. So why wouldn't you get him? going to be a great, great, great card to pick up highly recommend snagging him next on the list is this pink diamond throw bailey from the jazz this is one that i might actually do first because this throw bailey i feel like it's just going to be super fun uh to use in general he is six foot eleven at the power forward small forward has an 83 midi and 92 shot mid uh, you can see that 84 free throw has a 89 speed 87 speed ball and 89 acceleration with an 86 ball handle so again off rip can speed boost has a 87 dropping layup 80 standing dunk 90 driving dunk some good post moves as well uh, has decent rebounding not too bad but an 89 interior 89 perimeter has a 90 lateral quickness an 80 steal and an 80 block with an 83 shot contest so really i think the uh appeal for Thurl Bailey is the fact that he seriously can do everything at a god tier level and then just has that super nice super clean release has 27 hall of fame badges acrobat consistent finisher contact finisher fast break finisher lob city finisher pick and roller pro touch rentless finisher showtime catch and shoot corner special difficult shots flexible release green machine hot zone hunter bailout break starter downhill need without a quick first step break wall clamps intimidator pick dodger pogo stick toss defender and trapper and the reason that i have him above somebody like that tom gooks who i was just talking about is because he also has a gold quick draw and a rain dick center with just as good of a release 
So why wouldn't you love him? I mean, great card. Anybody who used the Ruby <laughs> Thurl Bailey from last year, y'all know how great these Thurl Bailey cards can become. Now, that's three that we covered. Am I correct? Yeah, there's just so many here that I keep forgetting. But um, one of the next ones that I wanted to talk about was this DeMarcus Cousins. But in my process, I remembered that I wasn't going to talk about Tom Gugliotta and I was going to talk about this Karan Butler instead. So you know what? You guys are getting six cards on the list. So why not? And we're going to talk about this Karan Butler, who is a six foot seven shooting guard, small forward. Who I recommend running him at the shooting guard because I feel like he's just going to be amazing. Great size, great shooting ability, and great, great, great defense. He has a 95 shot three, a 92 shot mid, a 92 free throw, an 89 speed, 87 speed ball, 89 acceleration, an 88 ball handle, some pretty good playmaking as well. Has an 88 driving layup, an 85 driving dunk. Uh, where would be? 88 perimeter defense? That's pretty good too. A 92 lateral quickness, an 88 steal, a 70 block, and 77 shot contest with actually pretty decent rebounding. So as you guys can see, for a shooting guard, it's actually like pretty competitive stats like you that's pretty good and Karan Butler just has a really nice really smooth release with 27 Hall of Fame badges consistent finisher contact finisher relentless finisher catch to shoot clutch shooter corner special flexible release green machine hot start hot zone hunter pick and popper quick draw range extender slippery off ball tyler shooter and a volume shooter downhill flex release quick first step space grader tight handles clamps interceptor moving truck pick dodger tireless defender and trapper and some great cool badges as well dimer handles for days gotta love that but the main reason i really like this karan butler card is just the pure three and ability that he has obviously i love shooters and i love defense this year and this is one of the best cards for that easily next obviously we're gonna be talking about this pink diamond demarcus cousins who is tied for one of the first cards that I want to get. Obviously, a six foot eleven center power forward, and I recommend running him at the four. Personally, um, he just doesn't have the interior stats to really warrant running him at the center. But as a ninety four midi, a ninety three three point shot, an eighty eight free throw, eighty eight speed, eighty four speed ball, eighty eight acceleration with an eighty three ball handle and great playmaking. Add a uh, ball handle shoe, and he'll be great. A ninety five driving layup, ninety seven sandy dunk, eighty five driving dunk, a ninety seven post hook, ninety six post fade. Some great rebounding as well. An eighty four shot contest. 79 perimeter defense, 86 interior defense, a uh, decent block of 72 and a decent steal of 65 as well. Again, not great defensive stats, but DeMarcus Cousins, again, was an insane defender, but still pretty good. Has 30 Hall of Fame badges, back down punisher, contact finisher, cross key scorer, drop stepper, pro touch, rentless finisher, catch and shoot, corner special, difficult shots, flexible release, green machine, hot start, hot zone hunter, pick and pick popper, pick and popper, I don't know why I said that so wrong, quick draw, range center, tireless shooter, volume shooter downhill dream shake post pick ignition quick first step box brick wall intimator moving truck pogo stick post block down rebound chaser and a tireless defender also has gold clamps which is actually pretty nice has needle thudder and a dimer as well as well as floor general but the reason i love this demarcus cousins card is at gold quick draw he already had one of the quickest releases in the game and then you add that hoff quick draw which obviously makes it even faster and that range extender he's seriously seriously going to be a beast and then the very last card that we're going to be talking about one that if you know you know and you got excited as soon as you saw this card pop up if it ever damn lets me load into it again and it is this pink diamond geoff petrie or jeff petrie i'm still not sure exactly how you say it. he's a nice six foot four shooting guard pg but again Run him at that PG. He is insane. This Geoff Petrie actually has some of the best animations for dribbling I have ever used on a card. He seriously has the sauce. I don't know what it is about his animations, but they are some of the most money that you will find in the game. You literally can break everybody. He has a 94 shot three, a 89 shot to mid. Again, still pretty good. A 95 speed, 94 speed ball, 95 acceleration. Has an 88 ball handle with great playmaking. A 95 dropping layup, 80 dropping dunk, which honestly seems a little low to me, but hey, it's all good. A 95 premier defense, a 94 lateral quickness, and has a 92 steal. A decent shot contest of only a 73. Again, I wish I was a little bit higher, but it's not bad, like to be honest. Uh, for his badges, has 29 of them Hall of Fame. Acrobat, consistent finisher, contact finisher, fancy footwork, giant slayer, pro touch, rentless finisher, catch and shoot, difficult shots, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, range center, volume shooter, dimer, downhill, floor general, needle thudder, quicker step, stop and go, tight handles, clamps, interceptor, intimator, lightning reflexes, pick dodger, pick pocket, tireless defender, and trapper. And I like that they gave him silver ankle breaker instead of you know gold or hall of fame because they knew how much we'd be snatching ankles out there um with this card i love him his animations are absolutely amazing has like a d wade release um which is already money so really 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 good card if i had to shout out some honorable mentions kyle corver 
Brett Hamilton are going to be a great. Uh, Rudy Tomanovic has, you know, really big potential, and even Vin Baker as well. There's a lot of good cards in here, and honestly, you really cannot go wrong with any of these cards finishing out any of the collections. So, again, do as you wish. Get whatever card <laughs> excites you and what you have fun with. These are just personally what I think, well, now are the top six cards um, in the game. Uh, from these historic spotlight sim cards uh like if you guys did enjoy comment down below which one of these cards you guys you know are most excited for and which one do you want to grind for subscribe if you guys are new on that road to 5.1k hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see y'all in the next video